me. Yeah. Hope you see a good one from about 10 strides and kick my hell. Oh, I really look forward to seeing you ride tomorrow, Izzy, and best of luck with both your horses, and well done again today. Thanks, thank you. Izzy Taylor talking there after her test. Oliver Townend score a distant sit, but into the arena is Jodie Amos on board Wisecrack, the uh, third last rider. Jodie Amos, as I say, coming into the arena. And uh, well, uh, talk amongst yourself. Um, have you told another joke? Is that now? Right? Yeah, yeah. Just oh, three more. Be careful, riders. Rupert. I'll be very honest with you. In a minute. I'm three really more, sorry. Three more riders to go. Just, just keep it together, Pammy. We're nearly there. Well, Carl has the answer as to why we might not. What? Keep it together. Okay. Or we might down tools. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, that horse didn't bring the the left hind up there. So just always, when you make ride a transition to halt from canter, you need to always think about canter, walk, halt. That will bring the hind legs forward underneath the horse rather than the rider that gets very direct, which would be perfect if you had a collected canter, which no one seems to have, I might add, because if they had a collected canter, they might be able to be a bit more direct. But if the canter is slightly forward or big, then you need to use your walk step so the hind legs don't stay back. That will bring them, as I said, that will bring them forward. Very attractive horse. medium trot and now the, the half fast this is going good forward well yeah. yes that's good bending nice the front of the face turning to look there that was a forward transition to walk the horse didn't block in its back and she loaded it tactfully and forward she needs to keep tapping with her right leg well ridden better walk her right yeah. positive riding here that's oh, nice yeah there's a nice bit of scope in there and uh, here again, just peeking at the camera, but... She was very quick, wasn't yeah, she, and yet she gentle. Was, she just let him relax a little bit towards him, didn't tactful. push him more forward as he looked. So the shoulder end sets up the half pass. Be careful she doesn't let the left ear drop down. And then you have to keep the neck long so that the outside of the horse stretches. If the horse shortens his neck, that's when you see a little bit of twisting in the neck when they try and bend. Good rhythm here, very relaxed. So funny how some horses just take to this so easily. I mean, he looks like he could be a bit does, schooled at home. Yes, very relaxed, a little too relaxed. The yeah, he didn't halt step up, quite and that wasn't well. diagonal. Did you see that the mm. first step? So he dragged his front leg back without the hind leg and then became diagonal on the second step. So sloppy, uh, sloppy rain back that would be. Again, here you'd like to see the horse take the rein forward with the nose in front of the vertical line. Yep. He's not using his neck, this horse, in the walk. Not too bad in the trot, but he's just stuck there. He's not sort of put, taking a hand and pulling it forward and, and getting positive steps. It's a bit cautious. She's keeping it together for this, and now she Tactful. needs to engage. Well done. And now she needs to get that inside leg of hers working, because I can see the canter's looking a bit laboured to tap him with her inside leg a bit, come on, get the jump. Yeah, he finds it really difficult to sort of come up and off his forehand in canter. Laboured is the right word, it just sort of drops, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a nice picture though, and she's, a... she's sitting in a good balance here too. Sits in the middle of the hall, she sits central. And that was an early change, but again, um, I thought that was cleverly ridden because he, he was like, I know what's coming, and she went, well, I'll do it before you. Yes. Rather than the other way around. Yeah, the half passes help this horse because she he has to engage more when he goes sideways, so you can see how it improves his canter when he's going sideways. And the longer he stays in canter, too, perhaps, do you think? Yeah. Bold medium canter and a smooth transition coming to the serpentine now. Yeah, see now he's done a, a medium canter. It's a he's better sort of rhythm. Got going. Yeah, he's jumping more now. Jump quicker, quicker, good. Well, who was that? I thought the horse got there first. 
And it was a correct flying change, but appeared the horse just anticipated a little. <laughs> Your yeah. call, Carl. He was late behind. <laughs> that was a shame there. I mean, he didn't costly. Wait. No, that's better. Yeah, so it's a little bit green in the changes. He's a bit keen, and uh, it looks like he's learned the test quite well. Yes. <laughs> That his, uh, Ooh. Oh. Looked like he skidded a little bit to that last hole. Emergency hole. stop. <laughs> An emergency hole. She'll be hoping he doesn't do one of those tomorrow. <laughs> uh, they were third at Blenheim in 2014, so and he's not done a whole pile wrong, just a few little green bits. Nice horse to keep an eye on. So next in the arena will be Christopher Burton Novelis. Lots of people thinking this could go close to Michael Young's total. Jody Amos uh, is in. And we'll wait for her score. I can tell you Oliver Townend's score of 40.7.